these objects, unlike our computing devices, are really fun to use. Think about a pen. Give it to a toddler and he'll create really interesting designs. One almost inseparable aspect about these objects is that of gestures. Gestures are the window of interactivity for these objects. As a child, I was always fascinated by the capability of human beings to interact with each other by just the means of gestures, be it from any region, religion, age, or color. And it's not just a capability of adult human beings, it's also present in our newborns, even our pets. Gestures is almost a universal language. Fast forwarding my life to 2011, it was a year when Microsoft announced Windows 8 Developers Preview. Windows 8 was amazing. It was fast, it was beautiful. But the only thing that was confusing the users was the missing start button. The start button was where it all began. But in Windows 8, it was really difficult to get down to the start button. It involved the user to take the cursor to the corner of the screen, slowly dragging it downwards, and just hoping that the charms button, charms menu would appear and he would click on the start button. It was really frustrating. So we thought about a solution. Every desktop, tablet, or a mobile came up with a front camera. This front camera was for video interaction, but went mostly unused until we humans started taking selfies. Selfies are awesome, isn't it? But we just thought of one another use for the front camera. How amazing it would be if we could swipe our hand from right to left in front of the web camera and the start menu magically appeared. Or from right to left and toggle between apps or from top to bottom to take a screenshot or bottom to top to show the desktop. So that's what we did. Using OpenCV and Visual Studio as a platform, we employed skin detection algorithm to identify a user. And we narrowed on to his hand using defect tracing and contour mapping and formed a region of interest. So when the user moved his hand from right to left or from left to right, the region of interest followed. And this motion of region of interest, we used this as a trigger. The results were exciting and we could get the start menu just by a swipe of hand. But like every technology, this also had some limitation. We could have used a Kinect. We chose simple web camera because every computing device came with one. The limitations of cameras or any gesture sensors was that it required the user in the line of sight. It was really difficult for the users to be present in the line of sight always. You can't be in front of a camera all the time, 24 by seven. And it also required lighting. It required ambient light so that the camera could pick up your motion. Also, hardware like Kinect are fairly expensive. And nobody wants their privacy to, to be compromised in front of a camera. So we had to come up with another solution. The solution came from the books of digital signal processing. Every motion has a definitive interference pattern and every motion is a gesture. So we used a Wi-Fi router to capture this interference pattern. The Wi-Fi is like a radar. It emits radio waves or the download stream and receives them or the upload stream through and through this radio spectrum, we, we just used to care about the digital signals or we used to care just about the data and used to ignore every other data as noise. But now, if we capture the data of, of the interference patterns created by the motions, we could, we could use them as a trigger. 
The radio waves also carries these interference patterns. The applications of voodoo are limitless. Think about controlling your devices without even touching them. Changing songs while taking a shower, changing the temperature, or changing the lightning, ambience, just by gestures, or unlocking doors or your devices, just by gestures. The possibilities are limitless. The voodoo is real. And the reason why we chose this Wi-Fi router is because it is omnipresent. It's a necessity. If, you, if your restaurant doesn't have a Wi-Fi, you might probably not go again in it. And since the Wi-Fi router uses broadband radio waves, it is really, really fast and effective. The cost effective because of its omnipresence is also one of the factors for choosing Wi-Fi routers. And it's personal since Wi-Fi routers can't see.